Hello and welcome back to the Slow Music Movement Radio Show, where I recap my favourite tracks from the last uh, few weeks since the last show. As you would expect, a pretty eclectic selection of down-tempo music from flat-out ambience to some nice jazz vibes this week, actually. Um, yeah, deep into the electronic, uh, exploring the world of microsounds and um, precision audio engineering. It's all here. But kicking off with a lovely slice of ambient neoclassical music from Andrew Tasselmeyer and Blurstem from their Duets album. The track is called Aphid. stuff from Andrew Tasselmeyer and Blur Stem who are a couple of um, yeah regular ambient fixtures all sorts of pseudonyms and various projects uh, all quality in that album um, um, Bristol's Fracture label I believe um, is yeah great start to finish listen Okay, I'm going to keep it ambient um, to start the show off, ease you gently into into the pretty gentle <laughs> sounds, generally. And next up is Scattered Light, um, which are a really interesting uh, label operating, sorry, uh, that have released this album called DA-017 on Dust Archive, which is a really interesting label out of Sydney, Australia. Um, and uh, yeah, despite the terrible 
LP title. The, uh, the music is lovely. Check it out.
hope you're listening somewhere low lit, preferably late at night to that tune. <coughs> that would be the perfect soundtrack. Sounding pretty good here at, uh, at twilight as I look out the window over the sort of terracotta roof tiles at a at the peak of an old monastery. And the last uh, last rays of sunlight in the north of Portugal. So next up I have mentioned this before. I have played you them before. Greg Dallas, Jan Esbra. Their album is dropping in November on the Slow Music Movement label. And uh, this is the latest single that actually came out today. And if you're listening at, um, well, whenever you're listening, today is Octo- October the 13th. And it's a lovely slice of ambient, new age, psychedelic, electronica. And they've enlisted Katie Esler to provide some enchanting spectral vocals to add to the magic.
peoples of the land. Parakeets in green mountains, Aluta Macanelli in mountains where the river wide and mighty like the sea. We stand there, wooden bridge, horizon, she says, look at the trees. But those trees were simply yokes joined at the cusp of vertical V's. And amidst this beauty, she leaves and returns to the world below. I climb higher earthen steps to find my grandmother leaning over the lower Dutch door of her kitchen, opening her heart on that mint green morning to tell me to be careful as I walk along the mudside, coming up where it black and slippery. And it is only when the credits begin to taper up that the woman re-emerges, the muse of ages, rainforest and river rocks, of soft bridges and bridges which are safe, and wooden walkways suspended so delicate over raging river tide. Sound, sound calling down into jungle, high track and valley, mansion and veranda, hid in the bush like a cornered snake, all hiss and no teeth. So we move along the periphery on a train now. Grass verge and swoop steep falling from town to shining town along and upwards jungle elastic. And above the hush of green tops, tree tops. The road between the leaves and lumps of tree stumps. Shifting down and recklessly from branch to bending branch to tree top. And this was where the writer hid his house. Among the beaks and crevices of the mountain, elbows of the land between each thin vine stretched and showed me reams of unsold books under his coffee table. So we left and went shuffling in the delta. Between paddy rice and wetland jamborees Crossing the land in a silver Ford Falcon Cliff and ancient highland Saw the land spread out like swampland Raw, majestic, the bushing came While heading south to the grinning edge of the land So vast and multiple To the end of the world right there Beyond the pine coves and recessed gullies, world within world. Passing through the cold iron pillars, rusted gateways going down south, down to the edge of the world. Ghost road to the rim. And so we stop, but stopping even once is to fall is to fall into the hollow footholds cattle push into the soft country dirt. Is to fall and flail into the cow dung and fraggy panny in the orphanage garden. And there was a young man at the side of the road. His cutlass hand hung long beside him. And we asked him, if beyond the plains and abandoned land was where the sea was high and overflowing, was there the precise overfall and fall over the edge of the world? Yeah. We drive uphill motorway. We encounter small towns. A haberdashery of Balderdash. Going down Mendez Village, far uphill their motorway, the car shut down. 
crank on the hard brake, budge, but it won't budge. It keep chugging back and coughing. Try gear back in first. Jump, gear strolling, won't pump. And by the time we drive out of this sudden town, you heard me say, Death. Driven against the death of things as a sign so singular in gesture. Until its sparkle is etched onto air. So, time for a little recap. So after Greg Dallas and Jan Esbro and uh, Katie Esler was Landon... Coldwell, my friends. Now he uh, he's based in Indianapolis. Brought together a load of uh, live jazz sessions, improvised sessions with um, some remote recordings and fused them all together into an amazing cosmish ambient jazz style album that came out recently. Um, yeah, it's called More Unity. The album. I urge you to track it down. After that, UK cosmish. Jazz. I do like a bit of ambient jazz. Uh, from Greg Fote, um, he released an album called Blue Lotus. Now he puts out a lot of music. Um, it's always pretty solid. Some hits a bit more than others. Um, Blue Lotus is my favourite of his recent releases. Um, yeah, really liking that. And um, yeah, I heard you to treat that down on his own Blue Crystal records. And after that was a French double bass player called Carm Messlian, who's released a, well, mostly it's him just playing bass, um, which uh, is a lot better than it sounds, to be honest. And on that particular track, he had enlisted the um, amazing vocal talents of Anthony Joseph, who is a great Trinidadian um, poet, spoken word artist and all round funkster as well. He's got his own amazing jazz funk project. Um, if you ever get a chance to see Anthony Joseph live, I highly, highly recommend it. He comes on stage looking very dapper, uh, drops moves like James Brown in the 70s and has a crack jazz funk group. It's an amazing live show. Anyway, luckily this track in the background uh, still has about five minutes to run. It's from a another US um, tripper, I'm going to describe him as, Cole Pullis, who does all sorts of new agey, weirdy, electronic, jazzy fusions. And he's released a recent album uh, called Scry. And uh, this particular track is the title track from the album.
always expect the unexpected from Cole Pullis. All right, next up, Dominic Fuzz. He's recently released an amazing album called Right to the City. This is a tune from it called City Karach. Thank you. 
fascinated by these artists who work with micro sounds, shatter sounds, familiar sounds into a million pieces and then piece them back into new tunes. After Dominic Voz was a Canadian artist called Nobs from his Stipple album. In the background is an Argentinian artist. Her name is Ava. If you thought that first track from Scattered Light was late night introspective listening, check out this next tune from Jacob Lindhagen, Memory Constructions, minimal neoclassicism at its finest and yeah, headphones on, lights off, a candle if you must, and this track will take you to the deepest recesses forgotten memories. Thank you. 
if ever there was headphone music, there it is, right there, from Jacob, Jacob Lindhagen. Um, yeah, he released a really great album on Memory Constructions, sorry, called Memory Constructions on Piano and Coffee Records, which is fast becoming one of my go-to neoclassical labels. Um, yeah, really good listen. Okay, so last track from me. Thought I'd uh, end it on a quite a sort of low key, euphoric, electronic number from um, emanating from Chicago. Sam Precop, uh, probably better known for his Sea and Cakes um, collaborations. Uh, he's, yeah, he's a bit of a Chicago head, been involved in all those big projects over the years. And, around the tortoise camp and um, yeah, he's a force for uh, all sorts of musical good seems to be focusing more on uh, modular synthesis recently and um, yeah new EP or LP I guess because one of the tracks is 17 minutes long The Sparrow dropped uh, a couple of weeks ago and this is a tune called Every Night so over and out next month you know what to do in the meantime check the social media for the daily recommendations check the playlists just search around for the slow music movement um, yeah loads of good music in all sorts of locations okay take it easy